So in this video, I'll continue to manually humanize AI written text. And this time I want to focus on a very specific problem that many of you have faced and described in the comments. Namely, no matter how many times you rewrite a certain sentence, it still gets flagged as AI written. So you know now it's 100% not AI written because you've literally have just rewritten it so many times, yet it still shows AI written, you're stuck, it's annoying, it's frustrating, and you don't know how to uh, move on. And like I said, it's a very common problem. It happened to me many times before. It's very easy to solve this problem because it has to do with uh, how AI detectors look at your text. So uh, as I explained in the previous video, they look at the whole structure, at chunks of uh, language, chunks of text, rather than at uh, the individual sentence. And that's the key to understanding how to solve this problem. So quite often the solution is to just move on. So you don't have to make sure that every single sentence is cleared of this AI written label. Sometimes you, you just want to move on and continue to change some other sentence. And then this previous sentence also gets cleared. Just before we continue, I wanted to remind you to look at my newest ebook in which I share a number of ChatGPT prompts that you can use at different stages of your dissertation writing, as well as other ebooks that I've written, such as this ebook in which I explain how to use ChatGPT for qualitative data analysis. And if you need more support, have a look at my website where I offer bunch of different relevant services, including Zoom tutorials, data analysis services, or services where I manually humanize your AI written text. But now let's look at the text that I have here. So basically what happened, this text has been flagged 77% AI written. As you can see, the original text comes from my PhD thesis. I took uh, some text from my PhD thesis, pasted it into ChatGPT, asked it to reword it, and then pasted it here so that it's flagged as AI written text. So, so that's the the source material, but as you can see, it is flagged as AI written. So we have to change it. And as we do, you'll see what happens and what I mean about the structure. So let's start with the very first sentence. I kind of like it, uh, but the problem is uh, here, the problem is there are two sentences and they are essentially about a very similar thing. So they kind of sound good in general, but they are about, uh, they don't really differ that much. So I definitely want to merge it. It's a very AI thing to do as well, to have sentences that look good, but if you really think about it, there's not that much. So I can definitely combine them into something shorter. So I'll say here it says for many participants, the migration experience brought about profound shift in how they saw themselves. I kind of like it, but I'll just say many participants described the migration experience is okay. So describe a profound shift in how they saw themselves, particularly in relation to language use that occurred as a result of their migration experience. So now we don't have this, uh, we don't need this second sentence at all. So let's just remove it it still detects the same, the same amount of AI written text. But I do like this first sentence, so what I'll do instead, I'll just move on. So let's start working on the second and third sentence and then see what happens to the first sentence. So we can see that it's quite a long sentence. So Katrina, for, for instance, spoke about feeling less like a lesser being, which is true, by the way. Again, I remember it from my research. And everyday interactions, her confidence, once rooted in her ability to act independently, sounds a bit uh, like AI is, is just all overly dramatic. Uh, anyway, but it's also important. It's also important to know that she used to be independent and all this stuff, but then uh, it was affected where in the situations where her English was challenged. It's too long. It's too long. I want to simplify it while uh, maintaining the, the main, uh, the main, the key message of these two, of this long sentence. So I'll say uh, Katrina, for example, described or a reported feeling. That's what I'll do. Uh, reported feeling like a lesser being when her English was challenged. But now we want to maintain the original meaning. So let's say which, which contrasted with the independent individual because it talks about being independent when in Poland that she once was in Holland. So I did keep the meaning and I and I simplified. So let's just detect AI now. And as you can see, the first sentence also got cleared now. So I could have been stuck on this first sentence and you know getting frustrated and all that, but I just moved on. I improved this one. I changed the the structure of it so that it now does it doesn't think that the first one is AI written. And the same thing will happen here. So uh, I do like this sentence now. She described avoiding simple errands and hesitating to speak out, driven by fear of being misunderstood or patronized. I actually like it. I don't see any reason to change it. Again, I could try uh, to change it. Why Why would I? I, I really like it. So instead, I'll focus on another sentence that 
uh, includes M dashes, which are very popular uh, and, and you know they are favored by AI tools and generally does feel like a long and AI written sentence again. So I'd rather change this sentence instead. So I'll say uh, just to improve the, the flow uh, in general, the smooth uh, flow of the argument, I'll say moreover, when others adjusted their communication using hand gestures, so uh, as I said, I'm removing this M dash using hand gestures or simplifying language, this reinforced her perception of being viewed as less capable, which over time wore down her. So again, I don't like it. Ultimately, affecting her self worth. And let's check this again. As you can see, again, this one got cleared and the previous one got cleared. So that's, that's what I wanted to show you. Remember that you have to do it. Remember that it takes chunks of language, chunks of text, rather than individual sentences. So if you've spent too much too much time on one sentence, it doesn't really make sense because quite often it will get flagged. It's more important to move on. Now, sometimes it, uh, the opposite happens. So if you now change the next sentence, sometimes it flags the previous content again. The one that is now cleared, it may even show 100% here again. Don't panic because sometimes you then just have to ignore it and just move on. But overall, as a rule, uh, as you uh, move farther away from this uh, piece of text, it's becoming less and less likely that it will get flagged again because it. I do feel like there is some immediate context in general where uh, that AI detectors consider. But that's everything that I wanted to show you. I hope that you learned something new. Uh, please like the video if you did, share it with others, consider subscribing and ask questions in the comments if you have any.